Forgiveness's release. January 12, 2016. The world, the illusory world in which humanity is dreaming a story that no longer appeals to it, appears to be descending into chaos. What is happening is that you are becoming aware of the insanity of your so-called civilized lives as you burn through the planet's non-renewable energy resources at a speed that is terrifying. Your lifestyles, while seemingly moderate in their needs and expenditures, are at risk, and the chances that your children and grandchildren will be able to enjoy anything like a similar standard of living look increasingly unlikely. You appear to be caught between a rock and a hard place as you so often euphemistically describe what appear to be insurmountable difficulties. Maybe you comfort yourselves with the thoughts and the hopes that advances and new discoveries in technology will provide solutions to your innumerable problems. And yet your doubts and anxieties at times overwhelm you as you remember that historically, empires and civilizations have always collapsed, even as you hope that this one will, at worst, just gently decay, allowing a new and improved social, political, and business environment to seamlessly replace the present unsustainable one relatively painlessly. The bad news is that the old order, the old harshly competitive dog-eat-dog -dog way of life, is on the verge of collapse. However, the good news is that humanity is waking up to the unsustainability of constant conflict and planetary despoliation and in many places people are rising up to the challenge and taking the necessary steps to resolve conflict and reverse planetary damage through wise and thoughtful negotiation. As a result those callous military leaders who have for eons chosen to engage in preemptive wars, and their counterparts in business and politics, and even some religious leaders, no longer have a following of admiring disciples ready to continue engaging in policies that can clearly be seen to be at best unwise and at worst totally insane. Truly a sea change is underway as younger people, mostly aged 40 or less, with what seems like extraordinarily wise heads on their seemingly young shoulders, move into positions of power and influence. Many of you have for decades been holding the light and living kindly and compassionately, while forgiving those who have hurt or damaged you, and holding the intent to refrain from judgment. This has fortified your personal energy fields, the fields of love in which every human is enfolded, and the upshot of those long-held intentions is humanity's collective decision to awaken. It has probably seemed at times that your loving intentions were having very little effect, but in fact it is because of those constantly held intentions through the decades without any positive feedback apart from your own inner knowing, that has brought you so close to your inevitable awakening. Those of you over 60 years old, when you look back to your youth and the cultural environment in which you grew up, can see that enormous strides that have been made in reaching out to and assisting those in need. There is still quite a way to go, but progress to end poverty and all its associated ills, is accelerating. Very few now blame the impoverished for being impoverished, whereas previously it was common to blame the poor while assuming they were lazy, lacked determination, and therefore deserved to be living in straitened circumstances. So, really, much has changed for the better in humanity's attitudes towards one another, and awareness is growing that your survival on earth depends on your willingness to support each other instead of imperiously judging and finding fault with each other. The decision to awaken is solely humanities. Many wise ones have incarnated over the eons to bring this fact to your attention, and they have succeeded. You were created free, and our loving source will never override your freedom. However, as long as you chose to play your game of separation and attack others who you saw as wrong or different, you were effectively closing your hearts and hiding from the infinite love that is constantly offering you the solace and comfort from within the center of your being that so many seek outside themselves. Going within, quieting your mind, and intending to feel God's love for you is the way forward along your individual paths of spiritual evolution. When you allow yourselves to know that you are divinely loved, you enable yourselves to cease self-judgment, which is endemic and start to forgive yourselves for all your faults and errors. As you do so, you quickly realize that there is nothing to forgive, that you were just unaware, and that your seeming misbehaviors were but misguided attempts to find your way home. When you truly forgive yourselves, 
having looked at all the issues that were causing you so much pain, you will be able to accept what arises in your daily lives without fear or anxiety, and you will find yourselves easily forgiving those whom you have judged as wrong or who have hurt you. You will recognize in them the pain you experienced yourselves, and understand that they too are just seeking the way home. Forgiveness is release. Forgiveness dissolves grudges and resentments and brings you peace, a peace you could not imagine achieving while holding on to grudges and resentments. More and more of you are engaging with it, and as you do so you are releasing humanity, one another, from the prison that not forgiving builds around you, a prison in which you were hiding in fear of freedom. When you find yourselves free, you forgive, and when you forgive, you find that fear has dissolved and that you are truly at peace. Go within daily to engage with the love that dwells there in every moment. The love that you are seeking so desperately can only be found within. That is where it resides, waiting for you to acknowledge it and allow it to embrace you and fill you with joy and peace. You know it is there but you have become fearful because you have judged yourselves harshly and feel unworthy and undeserving of its warm embrace. Dismiss those judgments. I assure you that God's love for you remains undiminished, and that there is nothing you can do to change that. All you can do is refuse to accept what is offered, and why would you do that when your acceptance will bring you only peace and joy? With so very much love, Swall. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman.wordpress.com